Hola amigos, que tal? Stuart here from Spain Speaks. As you can see, I'm in a t-shirt today. That means I'm in a place where the weather is good. It's the 17th of March, St. Patrick's Day, and I'm in Alicante City, and it's around 23 degrees Celsius, which is uh, fantastic. Let's go and have a look at the city, shall we? Now, Alicante is an unknown city for me. Never been here before. Checking it out for the first time. Let's have a look around and see if we can see any interesting places. I'm on my way to the port or the coast. I want to see the Mediterranean Sea, and that's going to be my first destination today. And uh, also one of the first things that you guys see. So uh, let's head to the coast. Now we can get an idea of the, the type of living in this city. High rise, three, four, five stories at least in this part lots of people riding motorcycles around this city obviously the weather is fantastic most of the year so motorcycle would be the best way to get around and uh, it looks to be an interesting city what i have seen so far the sidewalks or the footpaths are clean which is a pro and there's plenty of businesses plenty of activity in this part of Alicante so a great city from what I've seen so far and of course in this city Mediterranean city Mediterranean living Mediterranean diet and the food from what I've tasted so far very very good so uh, another pro now we can get an idea of this Mediterranean living lots of people having lunch outside it's a mild day as I said around 23 degrees we've got an Irish pub because of course we're celebrating today St. Patrick's Day it's a sports bar it's not open I don't think but uh, that's the type of outdoor living that we've got in this city here fantastic now I've managed to spot the sea there it is down the end of the street over here we've got the typical businesses and I'm going to look for two things firstly the coast which I've already spotted which is fantastic and I'm also going to look for the Casco Antiguo because I've been told that there's some interesting things to see in the Casco Antiguo now we're getting into peak tourist area as well here in uh, this city let's uh, have a look what we've got down here ah interesting interesting some type of uh, mushroom sculptures more people eating and drinking in the street down there and uh, let's be honest the weather here makes it very very easy to do eat and drink outside in fact i reckon that's what most people would do most days of the week with weather like this now tourist attraction number one before i get to the coast we can see here the fuente la aguadora here in alicante or alicante and i'm going to turn the camera around and check out the trees that we've got here amazing and this would be a place that you'd come to in the middle of summer to escape the heat sit down here in the plaza uh, under the shade of one of the trees here and uh, take in the fantastic weather but uh, i'm going to say that on a hot day you'd be lucky to get a seat Now a little bit of info about this city. It's the second biggest city in the Valencian community. Valencia is just up the highway. Not sure the uh, exact distance, but up the highway it is. Valencia, the biggest city in the Valencian community. Alicante city number two, 350,000 people in this city. And uh, it's also the 10th biggest city in Spain. Smaller than Murcia, but uh, as I said, the 10th biggest city in this country now one thing that has surprised me about Alicante given the fantastic weather that uh, they have here I'm not seeing a lot of people getting around on bikes don't know why it is the car is king in the city not many people on bicycles no bike scheme from what I've seen so far a couple of bikes parked here and there but uh, nobody riding bikes funnily enough and this is one of the main strips here in Alicante and we've got all of these places over here that are selling whatever they're selling cheap stuff no doubt but there's plenty of them and lots of people out and about today 4 p.m sunday afternoon enjoying what this city has to offer and kids of course running around freely now one thing i'm going to say is that i've been here about an hour 
looking around the city and this is the third or fourth Irish bar that I've seen but look at the location of the place the water's just over there okay here it is and look at some of those boats in the harbour here we've got a casino over there we've got some suites some apartment living this looks absolutely spectacular I'll turn the camera around so you can get an idea of what we're dealing with here. Now you can tell spring hasn't arrived yet because people are dressed differently. You've got people in shorts, you've got people in t-shirts, you've got people with jackets on, you've got people over there with a puffer jacket on, so people don't know how to dress for this weather. But I'm telling you, 23 degrees Celsius, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, not sure exactly, and uh, I personally am in a t-shirt. Car is king, not a bicycle to be seen. And as I said before, in my opinion, it's a shame. And of course, you've got your street salespeople trying to flog off these cheap goods all along this walkway here, boardwalk, whatever you want to call it. People selling cheap sunglasses, cheap wristbands, cheap necklaces. That's what it's all about. And look at this, a tourist cruise around the harbour here. There you go, five euros, we'll get you on that ferry. Another example of the Mediterranean lifestyle, look at that. Wowie. Casino up ahead, we'll go and check that out. We'll go and have a look at those buildings over there to the left as well. So I reckon that would be the most expensive real estate in this city. I could be wrong, but it would be right up there, I reckon. And everywhere you go in this part of the city, there's people soaking up the rays, like these ones behind me here, working on their tans, safely, I hope. And there's a view of the Alicante city skyline. Okay, so the Mediterranean casino over there, a couple of punters out the front having a smoke, open from 10 a.m., not sure what time it closes, but you can imagine it's a long day inside that casino. Yeah, that's a bit the Now, where are we going? Let's have a look. Lots of people speaking English here, of course. All right, what have we got? We've got the port police over there, obviously controlling the goings on in this part of Alicante. And here we go, Suite del Mar. Hotel. Okay, so it's not private accommodation, it is hotels. And there's one, two, at least two hotels here. Let's continue. Now, there we go. One of the things to see in this city, up there on the hill, I think that is the castle. I'm not sure, but it looks to be some type of fortress or castle up there on the hill. I'll get the exact details soon but many people have taken photos from that fantastic vantage point up there. Here we go, two cyclists. The first two that I have seen. Surprisingly enough. More tourists. All right, now we've got some official buildings over here with the Spanish flag out the front. And no doubt we'll see the Valencian flag on buildings as well. This being the autonomous community of Valencia with its own autonomous community government. And of course the province of Alicante, meaning that it would have its own government to its provincial government. That's the way things work here in Spain. Some people could argue that there's too many levels of government. And I would probably agree with that argument. Now over there we can see a a racing yacht, I think it is. This part of Spain is big when it comes to boating, professional boating, and we have that boat there which might have represented Alicante in an important race. Don't know. And here we have the beach, or at least the city beach here in Alicante. A lot of people here today, Sunday afternoon, 23 degrees Celsius. We can see people sunning themselves people trying to sell things on the beach as well lots of activity and of course the people watchers over here checking out what's happening on the beach and there's even people 
having a swim. Let's go and have a look at that. People having a swim today. Not sure whether the water is warm or not, can't say. But nonetheless, there are at least, well, I'd say 30 people in the water. The rest on the beach. Magnificent. Okay, when it comes to getting around Alicante or Alicante in the local language, there's a tram system, there's also buses, there's no metro, I don't think, at least I haven't seen any metro, but this uh, tram here, again, uh, there might be one line, there might be two, but this is where it seems to start from, and uh, with the castle up there, always in sight. So, lots of activity on the beach. We've got volleyball over here. The tattoo boys playing some volleyball. Other people getting some sun. Working on their tans, which seems to be a common pastime here. And uh, I'm surprised by the amount of people on the beach today. But then again, should I be surprised, given the fantastic climate? Probably not. And basically what you've got here is You've got people on the beach, people walking along this promenade here, and you've got people watching the people on the beach and watching the people walk up and down. Fantastic. And what I will say is that there is a lot of English-speaking tourism here. Almost everywhere you go, you can hear people speaking English. The accents differ, British accents, some American accents as well, but of course having an international airport not far away means that there's going to be a lot of international tourists and uh, that's definitely the case. Now these apartments up here with the view that they have, I'll turn the camera around in a minute so you can cop the view that they've got there, that's the view they're getting. These apartments up here I reckon would also be expensive. There'd be big apartments and they would be expensive apartments as well simply because of the views they've got. And another language I've heard quite a lot walking around here is Russian. Lots of Russian people, of course, have made the Costa Blanca their home. Now, in typical... Unbelievably bad urban planning, in my opinion. Now, you might be wondering, is Alicante an expensive city, given the uh, location here on the Mediterranean Sea? Well, from what I've seen so far, it is not an expensive city if you compare it to, let's say, Madrid, which is where I come from. Madrid, very expensive. And every other city in Spain goes down from Madrid prices. You can eat good food at a reasonable price. The drink doesn't seem that expensive. And again, with this outdoor living, this fantastic weather, this is a definite city that you should be looking into if you're considering a move to Spain, or at least uh, that's what I think. Now, enough of the coast. Let's go and check out what the city has to offer. We'll have a look around the, the central part of the city. Hopefully, I'll be able to find the Casco Antiguo, the, uh, the old part of Alicante. Let's go and find it. Now here's the castle, or at least access to the castle, lift access as we can see there. It's at the uh, top of the hill here I imagine. The entrance is over there, Castillo de Santa Barbara. Different routes, route one, route two, and you can see the outline of the castle there. And uh, those people queuing up to buy their tickets to get the panoramic views of the harbour and Alicante. The cruise ship terminal up ahead, obviously bringing thousands of people from all over the world into the city. Now another pro of Alicante is the transport options, uh, getting to and from this city very, very easily. I mentioned the international airport, flights going all over the world. Uh, flights to the UK, flights to other parts of the world as well, flights to Ireland also. And uh, you've also got a fast train with Madrid, a fast train connection with Madrid. There's not a fast train connection with Barcelona, which is surprising. The whole Mediterranean coast is not well connected by train. So here in Spain, if you want to get anywhere by a fast train, you might have to go through Madrid. At least at the moment, that is the case. But the connection's good, it's a fast train, two and a half hours, you're in the Spanish capital, and uh, that is also one of the pros of this city. When it comes to getting here by car also, again, plenty of options, plenty of motorways, Alicante is well connected. And to come from Madrid to here by car, 
completely free, not a toll in sight. Now a curious fact about this city, the city of Alicante, is that back before the real estate bust of 2008, this was the fastest growing city in Spain, believe it or not. But then of course the crisis came and uh, everything stopped and uh, at the moment I don't think this is the fastest growing city, but uh, if it is, please correct me. Now I'm going to head in that direction and hopefully find the Casco Antiguo. Now to get to the old part of Alicante, the Casco Antiguo, you've got to go up those stairs there which is what those people are doing. But I've seen an emblematic building down here, which I imagine is the town hall. So I'm going to go and check it out. I could be wrong, but with those flags hanging off the front of the facade, it could be. It's either the town hall or another government building, that's for sure. Yeah, so we're in the Plaza del Ayuntamiento, the town hall square, if you like. So any one of these buildings here could be the town hall. This is the Audencia Provincial the Alicante and uh, this building in front of us here as I said not sure what it is but I reckon it's the town hall. Now we've got some places of interest to see Plaza de Santa Faz, Convento de las Monjas de la Sangre, Museo de Belenes and the cultural center Museo de Aguas which is uh, apparently through here so let's go and check it out and hopefully this will take us into the Casco Antigua also, which I'm interested to see what it's like. All right, what do we got here? Plenty of restaurants. And yes, indeed, this looks to be the old part of the town. We're gonna to walk up here. Signs over there advertising paella, which of course is the local specialty in the Valencian community. Paella, Spain's most famous dish, or at least that's what people say. Now here we've got a bike rental business, but still I haven't seen a lot of people on bikes. Don't know why, it's not a, a very hilly city from what I've seen. There are some hills, but, but nothing too scary if you're on a bike. So why aren't more people on bikes? got no idea. Now here we have another important monument in the city, the Basilica de Santa Maria. Obviously a religious building. Now we'll go up these stairs here, see what's at the top. Hopefully there'll be something of interest, some type of park from what I can see. And we've got the castle up there to the top. So I imagine there's a way to walk up as well, but I'm not going to do it. So at the top of the stairs, castle up there, homes, car park, interesting housing I will say. Doesn't look to be the most expensive housing, and I reckon looking at the paint that's falling off the walls, this is not the most expensive neighbourhood in Alicante. And there is the castle, the Santa Barbara Castle in Alicante. Now the idea is to walk around here and take the uh, main street down in front of the town hall building and then uh, that'll lead us into another part of the city, a more modern part of the city of Alicante. So uh, stay tuned. All right, let's go for a walk down this street here. Looking at the architecture, the buildings, the color, blues, creamy color there, whites, pinks, so interesting architecture. Street mural here, obviously something to do with fascism given the three people in the picture, Mr. Franco, Mr. Hitler and of course Mr. Stalin and I'm not sure who that bloke is there but I think it's Mr. Pinochet from Chile. In fact it is Franco, Stalin, Hitler and Pinochet. So according to this mural, being a fascist is cool. Tongue in cheek, no doubt. Now when it comes to the economy, this is a service 
service-based city, I think. Lots of people working in services, lots of shops. You've also got government workers here as well. You've got an important port. Uh, cruise ships are coming in. So tourism, obviously, bringing in the dollars. Uh, but I reckon, as I said before, that uh, general services would be the motor of this economy here. And another thing I like about the city is there's lots of interesting places waiting to be discovered. These little squares, these little areas of the city with uh, small bars and restaurants. Uh, another thing that I like about Alicante. Now this is the convent, another building that is recommended in all of the guidebooks to see. Obviously you can't go in, there would be nuns inside there I imagine, because it is a functioning convent as we can see de las monjas de la sangre, the nuns of blood. I think that would translate to. Now, as we can see there, the name of the street, Carrer de Montengon. And one thing about Alicante, or the Valencian community, is that they have their own language, the Valencian language. In Spanish, you would say calle, but here, Carrer. Now, it means the same, but in the local language, Valenciano. But to be honest, I haven't heard many people speaking that language, mainly Castilian Spanish, which I imagine is the dominant language in this particular city. Another one of these plazas or squares that I was talking about, and people out enjoying a drink or a late lunch. Now Alicante is also a university city, so that would bring life to the city too. Uh, lots of students out and about enjoying this uh, Mediterranean lifestyle while they study. Again, we have graffiti, fairly ubiquitous in Spain. This ugly graffiti, the ugly tagging. And uh, why they do it, got no idea. And why they don't clean it up, I've got no idea either. Old Alicante. New Alicante. Now we'll get an idea of some of the food here. We've got uh, tapas there to share, uh, octopus, prawns, mussels, calamar or squid, croquetas. We've got potatoes as well and other things and also homemade desserts. Mm -mm. Now another monument here. This is the Iglesia Con Catedral, a co-cathedral I think they're called in English, not sure. But uh, again, another magnificent structure highlighting the power that the Catholic Church once had, or maybe still do have, in this country. And if you want to have a bite to eat while you look at the magnificent structure, you can do that too. Now another thing that I've liked about Alicante is that it's an easy city to get around uh, on foot that is uh, you've also got public transport options, as I've mentioned. You've got buses that can get you around. You've got taxis. You could have a scooter in a place like this. You could also have a bike if you wanted to be one of the daring few that rides a bike in this city. But uh, generally, fairly flat, or at least this part of the city is. So uh, getting around quite easy, in my opinion. And let's be honest, why would you want to drive when you can walk in this fantastic climate? Now another pro about this city is that it is a provincial capital. It's the capital city of the province of Alicante. And that means that you have all of the services that you need in a city like this. You can get anything done. You probably wouldn't need to travel anywhere. Everything that you needed to do could be done here. Okay, real estate. Now, England Volkers. I think this is high-end real estate, so we'll get an idea of some of the prices that we're going to be paying at the higher end of the scale. So we can see here that we've got uh, an attic, 580,000 euros, 155 square meters, 875 there, 625 there, 780 there, 549 there. 795 there. So as I said, this business, the top end of the real estate market here in Alicante. Now, this is a business that you wouldn't have seen in Spain 10 years ago, High Society. I imagine it's a CBD shop. So let's go over and have a look what they're selling. Let's have a look here. So they're selling natural light. Don't know what that is, but uh, they're selling it. 
and yes exactly it is a CBD shop which as I said 10 years ago you wouldn't have seen this type of business now over here we've got a couple more government buildings the one there down the end there where we've got the purple sign that says nos queremos vivas y libres uh, that is the subdelegación del gobierno that's the central government's representation here in Alicante and uh, this building over here I imagine is the uh, local or regional government office but again I could be wrong. It is in fact the tax office, the Agencia Tributaria. And what a building they've got. All right, let's have a look at some of the cost of living here. This uh, restaurant which offers menus, as we can see here. They've got a daily menu, 11 euros 90. And you've got a choice from five starters, five mains. You've got a homemade dessert and a drink included in that price, 11.90. There's always one building that breaks the architectural rules of a city and there it is here in Alicante. Now we've got a bike lane but as you can see no bikes and I reckon I could stand here all day and maybe not see one. Amazing! Now when it comes to security is Alicante a safe city? Well I think that it is. There seems to be a fairly uh, visible police presence. I've seen plenty of cop cars cruising the streets. Uh, there might be some hot spots wherever there's lots of tourists. You will find pickpockets and the like. But uh, I think in general Alicante is uh, up there when it comes to safe cities here in Spain. And here's a local real estate agent and you can see the prices quite different. We've got 142,000 there, 164,000 there, 154, 344, 182. So that's the type of price that you're going to be looking at if you wanted to buy property here in Alicante. Now on that note I'm going to wrap this video from Alicante up. Uh, from what I've seen it is a fantastic city, a Mediterranean city, it's not huge, 350,000 people, well connected to other parts of Spain, good public transport options to get here and also get out of this city, plenty of choices. People seem to live fairly well, there's not a lot of stress, so I reckon it's a city that you should have on your list if you are considering a move to this country. Questions and comments, please leave them in the section below. If you're planning a move to a city like Alicante or anywhere in this province, let us know in the comment section below. And if you have anything to add to the conversation today, please, the comment section is the place for you. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. I'll see you in the next one. Hasta luego from the glorious city and the glorious weather here in Alicante. Bye-bye.